Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 of my uh, how to video on how to make Flappy Bird. So today we are going to be looking at how to, we are going to be making a, a bird that we can click. Uh, we can either click, uh, well let's say not click, I'm not going to add that. But let, we press space and we're going to have a, a, a square that will hop up whenever we press space and go down when we're not pressing it. So with that out of the way, let's go and press it. So, first things first, this is an unrelated note, but I'm gonna set a, uh, set the uh, screen dimensions just cause it's useful to have them uh, whenever. And it makes for a uh, clearer code. I feel like there's a better understanding as to what it means. So now that we got that out of the way, so we're going to have to add a public void paint component. going to add graphics g Gonna add super dot paint component, and we're just gonna add a G there. And the reason we add that is that if we don't, you're gonna notice that the uh, the square is gonna just be uh, appearing everywhere. And if you don't know what I mean by that, I'll uh, I'll show you what if I remember. Hopefully, so we're gonna we're gonna call our um, int. And what should we name our variables? I always find this the toughest part. Well, we only really have to worry about the Y part of our Flappy Bird. I think if we just have the... Uh... <laughs> what are they called? Let's just, say, let's just call them a wall or boundary. When we have our boundaries approaching, they'll just be coming to the left of us and we'll just be stationary. So I think we only have to worry about our y axis. So we'll call this our uh, flappy height. And we'll set that to the height divided by two. And we'll have a int velocity and for now, we'll set that to zero. So, I'm gonna have to get pen up to here when I feel like using it, because uh, there's gonna be a bit of uh, physics that I'm gonna have to explain here. Just basic physics that I'm no doubt probably get confused over, because I'm tired. So, we get our our floppy height and we got out into velocity so let's add a method and why did I add this below the thing uh, everything's going backwards I'm just quickly fix that okay cool so we add a private method and we'll make this void and we'll say it draws Flappy. I'm just making a method because if we're going to have to uh, do anything more complicated later, we can just add it to this method instead of making the uh, the paint component all messy. And I know I don't optimize my code uh, in my tutorials, but they are to have at the end of the day to have that. They are there to have fun more so than anything else. But it is a good practice to always uh, break up larger methods into sub, uh, not sub methods, into other methods. So we're going to g dot set the color and I'm going to set it to white. Just keep it very bare minimum. I don't know why, but I have a thing for when graphics are bare minimum. I have no idea why. 
and we're going to say g.fuelRect. We have our x, and our x will be 150, maybe. And we'll have our fluffy height. And then we'll have a square by 50 by 50, I think. And then we'll add our draw fluffy method in here. So now that when we add our fluffy bird, there should be a, oh, that's way too big. Okay. So it's there. So we just need to fix a couple of things. So I think probably half that actually. And maybe we'll go a quarter. Actually, that's wrong, isn't it? Um, I'll just say three times the three. No, that's not it. Oh, I'm getting confused already. Of course. Yeah, like that. Height divided by four. For some reason, I had it backwards in my mind. So we got that, and now we're gonna do, gonna add some, uh, from some frames into this. So we go new timer and we're going to add eh, let's say 40 is pretty good we say this and we're going to call start so we got that there and now when we ever press a key so if and we'll call a code in here int code equals uh, e dot get key code and make sure to always end up with a semicolon so if code is equal to e dot vk slash I uh, don't know which one this would be space I guess like it is in the name but if code is equal to vk space this is where we're gonna set our acceleration I believe so how are we gonna change this and I'll just change velocity we'll call it flappy V for V for velocity and we'll say flappy A for acceleration and we'll say that is equal to now remember down is positive so let's just change that to four so this is actually my first uh, program where I add acceleration to a to its velocity so I am not sure the most optimal way of doing this but I do know you pretty much had it okay so we have our white, our white, there we go, little guy over here, and he's square, or not. And at the moment, he's just going straight down. So what's a good color I can have? Red. So at the moment, he's going straight down so his velocity his V is greater than zero and if uh, let's just say if space if the character hits space then V is less than zero 
So how are we going to add this? Hmm. Well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to set we're going to have a limit to how far, well, maybe not a limit, but we'll only have acceleration uh, going down. So A is always greater than zero, and we'll just keep adding that to the velocity. And if the character goes up, then we will set the velocity to a certain speed. And I think that will be easier than having the A variable or the acceleration variable changing from positive to negative during certain if conditions. I think this will just be easier. So let's go ahead and add that. How are we doing for time? We're a little little behind. So if code is equal to equal to this, we're going to say yep, that's good actually, let's make that one I feel like 4 is a little too fast, let's set, make that one and if so, then flappy flappy v is equal to negative And we add that to flappy v, like so. And for every frame that there is, we'll say flappy v. is always subtracted by the flappy acceleration. But let's just go ahead and try that now. Did I subtract that? That should have been up. Yeah. So that's absolutely nothing at the moment. So we'll change this. We add that negative four. Negative four will go up, I do believe. So, and we'll change this to, I'd say, what's eight? So I think that's a little too much, so let's add 4, now you might see that it's hopping, and I'm sort of noticing, oh what's going on there, it's hopping all the way back there, that's interesting. Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. Right, guys. So I'll end this video right here, and I'll uh, debug this because I know uh, I know what the problem is. I'm gonna have to actually have to do something with the acceleration when it goes up, because otherwise it's just gonna be at that limit. So thank you guys for watching. I'll fix this bug uh, by next video. I hope I see you in it.